Oh, back to Delfino Plaza once again, Carl. It looks so fucking cool. It really does. Apart okay. from that fucking dirty shine that keeps annoying me. <laughs> but I clean that. So every time you leave, someone comes in and makes it dirty again. And there's nothing you can do about it, Lucas. So what part of the game are we up to now? Because it's been a week since we played. Uh, like, you, Mario. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I thought you just flipped in through that person's window then. I mean, I did, but you know, I can't get in. Let's just spray in so they know. <laughs> just, oh God, that's like when you leave your window open a little bit and it rains. <laughs> and you come in and it's like, oh, for fuck's sake, not again. That car, I don't think it's raining in this place though. Look at this fucking tropical landscape right now. Yeah, as you're spraying water everywhere. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it raining, you just have to worry about Mario being a <laughs> jackass. But imagine Mario trying to defend himself. Like, no, honestly, it, it wasn't me. Honest. Like, yeah, whatever you say, Mario. Whatever you fucking say. Everyone can hear you coming from about a mile away because they're like, wahoo! Yeah. Just endlessly. It's like all anyone ever hears coming from Mario is that. <laughs> oh, I need that rocket nozzle. Um, so the last place we unlocked was Pinner Park. I still okay. remember. Because you remember the, the audacity of the, the uh, fucking camera behind the waterfall car. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, that was terrifying. And that camera just, like, had Mario tied up and fucking did what he wanted to with him. Because yeah. that's, like, the inherent flaw in games like this, where it's, if you come back to it, like, a week later, and yeah. you don't remember where you were going. Mm -hmm. Like, we're playing Pokemon as well at the time. It's like, if you don't remember where you're going in Pokemon, you're fucked, because no one tells you where to go. Yeah. So like, in like Pokemon, what we've had to do is just, like, leave myself near something that we're aiming towards because that's the only way to remind yourself because we're playing what two games at once and you're playing games casually and we've got a week between each recording session no yeah. like, other stuff to work out it's like, and not only that it's like well, i'm playing like three games on my channel and also remembering about the two games on your channel and streaming and yeah it's like there's a lot of games that are going on at the moment and um uh, mario decides no fuck you back to delfino plaza yeah just wahoo <laughs> Look at him, he loves it. He loves he just jumping loves around like an ass. Man. Look at him. Look at this. Look at this man. <gasps> she wants green fruit and you get a Yoshi. Fuck this little turtle, man. Oh, God, no! Oh! Oh! Lucas the turtle heard you talking oh, shit. Oh, the camera. The camera can't. So what game do you think has the worst camera? Oof, there's a, there's a lot of contenders. There's some for bad that. ones. Like Ninja Gaiden 2 is legendary for how bad its camera is, and you yeah, saw that was bad. How bad the camera can be, and the only reason I was able to get around how bad it is is because I've played that game a shit ton. Yeah. And I was practicing off screen just to learn how to like compensate for how bad the camera is. Yeah, um, yeah, the that, that was one of the worst ones I've seen. Um, I'm trying to think. There's a lot of like. N64 games with just oh, awful controllers, like before they figured out how uh, the dual sticks thing. Yeah, going back to like all of the um, the games, like the rareware games, like Banjo and Kazooie and stuff. Like that can be pretty tough because their cameras are not great. And you have to no battle with them quite a lot. Them. Oh god! And it's just, strange yeah. how much um, like gaming inputs and stuff have changed so much because every now and again you'll go back to that legendary review of that Aliens game. That's the first game to yeah. include twin stick. Uh, it's like aiming. one of the original twin stick shooters on consoles. Yes, by which we mean one one of us sticks to move, the other stick to aim. And the review just tears it apart. It's like this is completely barbaric and yeah, why the would control you ever play scheme like is alien to me. So yeah, you might have missed that bit because it, it didn't really make much of a fuss about it, but you get the Yoshi and put it on the missing Yoshi in the merry-go-round. Ah, okay. And the, yeah, oh, my oh my god, this Carl. looks fun. Oh See, my like, god. When I'm asking for a 3D Mario like make maker, this is the shit I want. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh. we've got, oh, we've got Pentasonic in the background, whatever that band is. Acapella. Is there any genre of music that gets older faster than fucking acapella? Yeah. Because I, I hear this and I'm like, oh, awesome. And then, like, the, just the glee bands, they killed it off. Mm-hmm. Like, Smooth McGroove is a really cool dude, but yeah. you listen to one of his songs, and you're like, okay, I've heard every single song that he's done. Mm. Like, it's impressive from, like, a more... It's more impressive from like a technical standpoint. They actually yeah. do what he does, but 
I've listened to one of his covers. I have no interest in listening to any more of them mm-hmm. because they sound mean, the same. Yeah. Which is just a problem with the limitations of the human voice. Yeah, again, like as you say, the um, like technical ability and creativity is great, but you hear a couple and you're like, right, I get the idea now. Yeah. Because then, like, wait, what was it like? Um, and that's not specific to that guy. No, it's like, just, just in general. Bands in general, as impressive as it is, once you've heard it once, you've heard it all. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've got a big square melon. I've got the big weird glob of whatever it is. On just top sex of the energy watermelon. above the square oh! melon. Ooh. Oh god! Uh, yeah, camera. Yeah. Thanks, camera. I thought the block would keep coming, and it's like, no, it's gone. So that's casualty number one of the day for Mr. Camera. Cam- yeah, for the camera. Cause that he's just cleaning up on kills this episode. <laughs> this cameraman. But yeah, like a cappella gets so old so fucking fast. Hmm. And I remember where there was a couple of years where Britain and Americans got talent. Oh! The only winners were just a cappella bands. Yeah. And it's like it was dance troops and then a cappella. And then it was performing dogs. Oh god, yeah. Never forget that one year. This is a true fact for Americans watching this. And um, there's a show Britain's Got Talent, like Americans Got Talent. Yeah. Um, one year it was won by a dog. So the most <laughs> talented thing in Britain was a dog. But it turns out that the dog's final stunt was where it went across a tightrope, and it was like four foot off the ground. Yeah. And the dog walks like eight feet. So something that a professional tightrope walker would look at and go, okay, sure, but it's a dog doing it. Mm-hmm. But it turns out after the fact that the dog that did it was a stunt dog. Wait, what? Be- Do you not remember this? No. Yeah, because the- they won it, and then after the fact, it turned out, like, well, the actual dog that won didn't do the stunt. So is the dog really talented? It was another dog that looked exactly the same. And the argument from the lady... Who owned the dog was when my dog's scared of heights. <laughs> and that was her legit argument for um, why they did that. I'm so I'm confused. Yeah, my dog's scared of heights. So why did you pick that trick? Like, you're the exactly. one picking the trick. Well, it's because it was the um, uh, the producer's pick who wins that show. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, if people don't know, every single one of those um, talent shows is complete and utter horseshit. Mm-hmm. Uh, like The Voice, uh, if you go to like The Voice or anything like that, they basically just write your backstory for you. Yeah, yeah. Like, those people have gone and said, yeah, they wrote my backstory. And Amazing. they told me that I had to have a... I told them, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just a normal uh, person. It's like, no, no, said, no, no. That won't do. Up, they said, no, actually, let's say you were like, you know, you were homeless or something for a couple of years. I <laughs> yeah. wasn't homeless. Um, yeah, I know a couple of people have like gone on auditions for that, and it's like, oh yeah, so the whole thing's super fake. It's like, well, of course it is. Every single part of it. Oh, the blind jump. To... Oh. But that, that dog one's the best one, because the woman legitimately argued my dog's scared of heights. <laughs> and imagine what you feel like if you were like one of the people that year who gets close to the final and you lose to a fucking dog, and it wasn't even the dog that did the thing that won. I wouldn't mind losing to the dog, but the idea that the dog wasn't even the right dog... Yeah, it was I had to get dog. a stun double dog in, and then keep in mind as well that dog got its own movie. <laughs> what? Yeah, there was a Britain. Oh got no! Oh no, no! Yeah, that dog got a movie starring David Walliams. So you know what? It didn't do too well because <laughs> it had to star alongside David Walliams, known huge prick. Dun, dun. Come on, Mario, we can do this. Ah oh, man. And it's really annoying me that I keep going in and going like, oh, I've got one extra life than I thought, and then it ticks the life away. Oh, Oh, that was clean. That was was a clean set of jumps. I bet as well there are speedrunners who just fly through this. Oh, yeah. Like, they just absolutely just obliterate every single... Like, Carl, they drop in and they've already got the shine. But one thing that, like, people often talk about in this game is, like, the sorely missed um, long jump. Oh, yeah, because you used to be like, was it the one, two, three? The hop, skip, and the jump? No, you can do that. You just can't um, You can't do the one where you run, crouch, and long jump. Oh, yeah, where Mario just does the... Yeah. Over the sand pit. Exactly. And um, that's one like thing that a lot of, I guess, more veteran Mario players do in the 3D games is you're just constantly long jumping. Because it's so fast. Yeah, so to have it in this where it's like you don't really get the long jump. You get the jump and dive... But to get across long jumps, that means like you're losing some height as well. 
Uh, so it makes sections like this quite tricky. Also with the camera. Yeah, the camera makes it way more tricky than anything else. The camera's fighting you, man. Every single step you fought by the camera. <laughs> Oh, Let's make that back. The taunt. Oh, come oh, on. No. Mario, no. Wait, where am I? Ah, okay. I see what it wants me to do. Why is there a fucking melon? I don't get the random melon. Carl, Carl, you leave the melon out of this. I just don't get why it's there. This random ass melon. <laughs> That, that is what um, the 3D Mario Maker would be, though, isn't it? People would just put melons everywhere. Like, you'd just have, like, a random giant melon block for no reason. And you'd be flying towards you at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> with, like, three flying Bowsers equipped to it. Just all with um, uh, the boots. <laughs> oh, no, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh that was... Well, thinking about, like, acapella, uh, if, like, what kind of music do you think got really old really fast on YouTube? Do you remember for a while there was always like, uh, if you search for any song on YouTube, there would always, always be an acoustic cover <laughs> on the, oh, uh, the ukulele. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. By a girl with big eyes and a, uh, what's the Not specific, like, jump on. a bowl cut. Always. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they'd, you'd search, you go, okay, I want to look for a song. It's like, oh, here's the Guitar Hero cover, full <laughs> combo, with the sound of the Guitar Hero clacking in the background constantly. Oh, God. I don't know which way I'm meant to go for this jump. Is it something to do with this melon? Like, someone's getting so mad about this. Yeah, I know. It doesn't seem like I can make these jumps. Oh, God, no, Mario! Did you see that call just vibrating off the edge? <laughs> just, <laughs> so, oh, oh god, no! Like so, I royally fucked that one. That was amazing. Um, I don't know if I was just misjumping, but it seemed really hard to make it up there. And I'm a bit confused, guys. Like, send me your energy, please. Oh, but I remember that era of YouTube, man. It was terrible. <laughs> so I want to look for a good song. No, fuck you. I'll buy it. Listen to this um, uh, shitty acoustic cover instead. Or just the um, the goat remix. Oh god, damn it. they were <laughs> funny, and it was funny for that one Taylor Swift song. That one Taylor Swift song, and then it was just like the year of the goat remix. It was the only time that was ever funny. Yeah. Uh, that, they've well, never I even see since. it creep up every now and then now. Like what? So leave the joke. It's dead. Well, people try, don't they? It's because. Original jokes are hard. Yeah. It's like the internet just refuses to let a joke die. I think about it, Luke. It's like the next time we do, uh, if any of our playthroughs get to 69, oh, yeah, you know yeah. what's happening. That was uh, my Breath of the Wild playthrough. Just nice, 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 nice. It's like, yeah, I get it. Sex is funny. Yeah, great. <laughs> It's never been funny to me. It's like 420 pisses me off. It's yeah. like I play Call, I play Call of Duty casually with my brother. Every single person has paid the money to buy the weed one. Oh, yeah. So when you get killed, it's like the guy with the weed leaf on his gun. It's like, for fuck's sake. It's like, I can't oh, imagine I can't being so sad that, that my entire life has to revolve around this one thing. Yeah. Like, my personality is just weed. It's so weird that I made that jump so easily that time. You did, you tried. And struggled at uh, getting up there, like, many a time. We all struggled to get up there every now and then. Oh, uh, God. Nice. So, the so, only funny... I was going to say, the only funny 420 thing I've ever seen is there used to be a car park near my house where it was all-day parking yeah. for 420. <laughs> so, it just said 420 all day, and every single day, someone would walk up with a permanent marker and, right, blaze it on it. Yeah. And eventually, they got so sick of it, they raised the price of the car park. By like 10 pence, it's £4.30. So a local rooftop, there is a, a lone Yoshi egg. This news is unconfirmed. <laughs> is there a Yoshi? We'll never know. A lone Yoshi. Oh, I thought it was the Yoshi egg then. <laughs> well, I do oh, respect though, Yoshi. He's like, I won't come out until you give me food. Yeah. That's like a fucking mood right there. I respect that. That, that sounds like Yoshi to me. Just the lone-ass Yoshi egg. So I don't know why I'm going to get this Yoshi again. But you know what? The news told me. 
the news told me to do it, Carl. I also feel bad for just all the people. Like, I'm going to store my fruit on the roof where Mario won't grab it and throw it away. <laughs> and they come back and it's been thrown away. To be fair, he has the audacity, Carl, to straight up just run right up to you. Yeah, just and do just this. steal your fruit. No. Oh, oh. Is you that, you're going to buy any of this, Mario? No. No. I've got important business. Sorry, guys. The thing is, as well, though, are you going to question the Yoshi? Considering like how powerful Yoshis are in Mario Kart. <laughs> So I'm not fucking challenging a Yoshi. Oh my god, Lucas. Yoshi's eyes just got massive then when he saw it respawn. When he sees the respawning fruit. Right, so I think I want a yellow Yoshi. So where is, though, the Yoshi Pez dispenser? I'm pretty sure one exists, Carl. Vomit, no, vomit all over his fruit so no one else buys it. <laughs> just, oh, Eat the bird. Um, but yeah, like Carl, you can do like mega cheats for us right now and find Yoshi Pez dispenser. Yoshi Pez dispenser. Some of if they've got, there must be one. And there if must not, be. Someone's made it on Etsy. Yeah. So I've never had Pez in my life, but I'm aware of it just because of like the weird subculture of people who collect Pez. Yeah. Proving like truly that if there's anything, yeah, there is one. People will collect it. So look for Yoshi plush. There must be a bully Yoshi plush that looks amazing. that looks awful. Well, there's the um the the amiibo yarn Yoshi's, isn't there? Oh god, that looks awful. Oh my god, yes. They've got Yoshi's, but they've like they've overstuffed them just a little bit, <laughs> so the Yoshi's just really fat. Like, what's one piece of official merch that you want? Because like right next to me, I have my little Marie, mm. the Pokemon stream we just did, and I I want that like ten foot Marie. Well, I, I don't it. know if it's official or not, but I want those, like, giant Snorlax beanbags. Yeah! The ones that you can just put in front of your doorway. The so ones that are, like, six-foot-tall Snorlax beanbags. That you just put inside your doorway and your girlfriend can't get out of the bedroom. <laughs> oh, God, no. I've never seen a man who's more powerful. Sat on top of a boat, on top of a Yoshi, <laughs> with, like, a cannon that fires pressurised water. Just Yoshi vomiting into the ocean. Lucas vomit on everything. No, we'll stop you. Oh, God. Is it here that you need to take Yoshi to? I can't remember. Why not? Give it a go. A lone Yoshi egg. Oh, it's the last Yoshi. Can Yoshi swim, though? That's the question. No. Will he just die if he touches the water? He's like Sonic style. Yeah, he just dissolves. <laughs> That's so rough. <laughs> it's so brutal. Dissolving Yoshi. Let's go into the underground, Carl. I will say, though, I fucking love this song. Yeah. Just the... Because it's been in the same since the first game. Yeah, since Super it, Mario Bros. 1. It is one of the best. Like Mario has some of the strongest music of any series. It does. And I love the ghost house music from like Mario World as well. Which one's that? Uh, I don't really know how to do it. I was about to say, would you be able to like, do it? Because I, 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 I don't, don't think I'm confident enough to do a rendition of it, Carl. Don't you going to do an acapella remix? You no. know what? Well, right, I'm going to do big cheats while you listen to this. Was it Ghost House Music? Uh, Mario World specifically, yeah. Ghost House Music. Mario World. Uh, it's not going to show up on my mic, but I'll hear it. Here we go. Yep, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> I know that has been from um, Bowser's Castle in uh, Mario Kart. Ah, right, yeah. Because that's the song that I'll play when you were doing that. Oh, oh no, Yoshi! Oh. oh, God, he melts. Oh, God, Super <laughs> Smash Bros. this ain't. Just, oh, God. It's so brutal. I love Mario kissing the fruit about Like, yeah! He fucking loves it. He's like, his best friend just died. And he's like, I fucking love kicking <laughs> fruit. Do you know what the best bit is as well? You'll never guess what's in the suggested. Is it Smooth video. McGroove? It's Smooth McGroove doing a cover of it. Yeah, of course it is. Oh, God, like the Mario medal. It's like, he's a cool fucking dude, but man, that gimmick got old fast. I mean, yeah, but there's still clearly a massive market for it because people are eating it up. So fair play to the guy. Yeah, yeah, he's got a niche and he's got to, like, market And he's good at what he does. He's very good, yes. Like, to clarify, I'm not shitting on him or anything, like... Which, he is good which has happened a lot with us when we say other YouTubers that we don't like because we don't find their content interesting. People who have attached way too much of their personality to internet personalities mm -hmm. take it as like a direct insult on that. It's like, no, it's just it's like, content. It's, there's a difference between I personally don't want to watch this thing and, oh, fuck that guy, what a knobhead. 
I hate their con. I hate them and everything they stand for. Because <laughs> that's happened to me a couple of times so far. So of like, do you like? Do you watch this YouTuber? And it's like, no, I don't. Because why do you only like them? It's, like, it's not that I don't like them. It's that I don't like their content. Yeah, it doesn't interest me. And then they take you know, that as I don't like the content, meaning like, oh, I fucking hate it. And it's like I didn't say it. Like, God damn it! It's like it's almost like personal taste is a thing that exists. Yeah. Oh, Luke, yeah. we can't have that. And bear in mind, we're playing like the uh, the most controversial Mario game. That's <laughs> no, true. You can't have personal opinion, Lucas. It's one of my nozzles. Oh, you no. just can't use it yet. It's like, it thanks, thanks, thanks Flood. So, um, holograms exist in the Mario universe. Oh, yeah, they do, yeah. Now, to be fair, um, also Bowser Jr. can perfectly disguise himself as a different body. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, I missed it. Oh, come on. At the very least, you should have like some sort of st uh, slight magnet effect. To the slight magnetism, yeah. Like, if you're getting close to it, like you were close enough there, they should have just give you it. What is this little wispy thing getting me? It's a little ghost, isn't it? It is. Like a little tornado cloud thing. A little wind. Like, again. Like, like, then, it's like, come on, just Also, give yeah, me I had this pointed out to me recently. Like, at some point, me, Shigeru Miyamoto signed off on the idea of a bird that just shits on Mario. Like, it attacks oh, yeah. by just shitting. Oh, yeah, because he has, like, creative control over everything, doesn't yeah. it? Like, no one can tell him what to do. Like, I presume, like, no one can tell him what to do, but I presume, like, when he played the game, he saw the shitting bird that attacked Mario with poop and went, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That's cool. I probably thought, probably thought it was funny, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> so it just came up on, like, my Twitter feed a few days ago. of like, man, Miyamoto looked at this bird that shits on Mario and went, yeah, cool. Nah, I really. like it. The thing is as well, he's one of those people where no one's ever going to fucking argue with him. Oh, God, no. Because when they argue with him, because I made Mario. thing is, it's like... What, what, just making Mario is in itself, like, the achievement of a lifetime. And it's Zelda like, as well. Oh, I also made, like, Donkey Kong and Zelda. And Zelda and, and Starwing. And it's like, oh, my God. Starwing? No, no, he didn't make Starwing. Oh, I, th I thought you were working on the new one there, wasn't it? Do you know what? Let's look it up right now. Let's see what he had a hand in. Yeah, do it. Because I know one of the things about him is he's not allowed to ride his bike anymore and it really pisses him off. Yeah. Because he, they say like he's so valuable to Nintendo, it'd be like such a crushing blow to morale if he got hit by a car on his bike. So, so he's, he's not, not allowed, allowed to ride his bike, bike to work. work. He has to get a car. Oh my god. This cloud, he's having me off. He's not doing it. Oh, there we go. So let's have a look. Korea. Oh my god. Do you Korea. know he's good when his career has several subtitles? <laughs> right, is it just a list of games that he's been a director on? I presume so. Oh, there has to be. Because he's got like awards and records. Here we go. Shigeru Miyamoto, gameography. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to name like the, the big ones. So yeah, of Donkey course. Donkey Kong, yeah. Donkey Kong Jr., Mario Bros., Donkey Kong 3. Uh, Excite Bike, Ice Climbers, Super Mario Bros, The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Bros 2, Zelda 2, Super Mario Bros 3, Mother, F Zero, Super Mario World, Pilot Wings, Yoshi, A Link to the Past, Mario Kart, Wave Race, Link's Awakening, <laughs> Star Fox, so we did do Star Fox, um, okay. Super Mario All Stars, Yoshi Safari, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country, Kirby's Dream Course, Super Mario World 2, Super Mario RPG, Pilot Wings 64, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Green, Kirby Superstar, Mario 64, Wave Race 64, Mario Kart 64, Star Fox 64, 1080 Degree Snowboarding, F Zero X, The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, Mario in, Party. Oh my God, we're, we're in the Mario Paint. Still, Super Smash Bros, Pokemon Stadium, Mario Party 2, Kirby 64, Majora's Mask, Mario Tennis, Paper Mario, Mario Party 3, Pokemon Stadium 2, um, Oracle of Seasons for the Game Boy Color. Um, Oracle of Ages for the Game Boy Color, Super Way Mario Advanced, Luigi's Mansion, Wave Race, Blue Storm, Mario Kart, Super Circuit, Pikmin, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Super Smart, uh, Mario Bros. Sunshine, Star Fox Adventures, Metroid Prime, Mario Party 4, Wind Waker, F-Zero GX, Donkey Kong Country, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Party 5, Minish Camp, Twin Snakes, Metal Gear Solid, Thousand Year Door, uh, Mario Power Tennis, which is probably the best one, Star Fox Assault, Mario Party 7. Like, mate, fucking hell. It, it just keeps on going, to clarify that. That's a list of up to, like, 2004. 
Yeah, it keeps going. Like every, um, Basically, every single Mario game he had a hand in. So, which means that he's had a hand in some of the best games of all time. Oh, yeah. Um, Carl, I will also say, like, we're about to get there. We've got a new nozzle waiting for us up here. Oh, fuck yeah. Is this, like, the one that just means you get the super jump, essentially? Uh, essentially, yeah. So, you're ready. The rocket nozzle. Oh, if you'd have fell off the edge then. <laughs> you got the rocket nozzle. So for some reason, the one over there was a hologram, but this one's fine. It's weird. I want to see this. Oh! Oh, that's awesome. So that's how you do, like, basically get to all the areas where it's just, yeah. And on my way back, Carl, I found where the last red coin is. Fabulous. So just... Da -da -da -da. Oh, no, I got hit. And this might help you as well, get some of those pesky... Um... What are they now? The coins that are just above you? Yeah. Because you can just stand directly below it and go straight up. I'm oh glad God. that it doesn't use all of your water. No, it uses a sensible I amount. Yeah, I can imagine, like, again, early in development, that probably used all your water tank. <laughs> yeah. And it pissed people off. So I need to get used to, like, how far you can go with it, though. It's, 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 you've got a lot more forward momentum than what I would have imagined. Oh. See, this is the issue. Without the hover nozzle, it's like... Oh, so it removes the hover. It removes I thought you got... the hover nozzle. So you don't have both at once? No. Can you use it when you're in midair, though? Uh, let's find out. Like, can you charge it when you're in midair? Yes. So you can use it to save yourself. Uh, so if you so if you fall off the edge... Just think of it like he's up B. It does take a long time to charge, though. And then you've got that weird, awkward splat. So all you need oh, to do is yes, charge Carl. it before... Every jump. Can you, you do it here, though? This is what I want to see. Whoa! Whoa! Lucas, never stop. <laughs> oh, God, I've run out of water. There we go. Perfect. And can you do it in the Will water? Means... No. Oh, come on. That's so flashy. But you can just jump out. Do that. So combining it, it does work. But, God, that's annoying. So, yeah, this, um, this red one's now filled in. Means we should be able to get the rocket nozzle wherever we want now. That seems like a lot of fun. I wish you could switch between them. Yeah. I wish that had been something they put into this game. Like the ability to switch between them. Oh, there we go. Can you imagine the bullshit you could do if you could switch between them on the fly? Like Devil May Cry style switching or something? Yeah, that thing is like... I think you'd be too powerful a Mario if you could rocket into the air and then hover everywhere. Maybe. Like, it'd be time. basically breaking the platformer. Look at that, I like how he's cheering. Who's, no one saw him do that, but he did anyway. Oh, but it's not unlocked over here. Why not? No, it's because you've already got it in it, surely. No. You cannot no, use it yet, it's only a hologram. You've got it for that level. That's a bit strange. That is a bit strange. I wonder, actually, will Yoshi eat that? Is that the point? Is that where I'm meant to go next? Let's find out, Carl. Well, Yoshi will eat anything, because he's Yoshi. Oh, God, that vibrate. Um, so you just vibrate off the edge like an idiot. <laughs> no. That was amazing. I was about to say where's a pineapple, but there's one right there. Ah! It's refilled by the little dolphin. Yeah. Okay. Love it. The dolphin's like, Ugh, just vomiting. <laughs> He's just forever vomiting. You know what? I've been there. Oh, God. There we go. Yoshi, let's feed you all. Throw it at him. I was going to say throw it at him. <laughs> so he chases it into the ocean. I love that noise. Because like, Yoshi wow. loves it. it. Like he loves it more than Mario loves jumping. Like where is my Yoshi soundboard? <laughs> there we go. That is a bit Perfect. finicky. So the first couple of times you did that, I thought, oh, maybe you can't do this. Maybe it's not Yoshi that you need to do it with. Yeah. And then you could. Oh, Serena, Serena Beach. Beach. No, Carl. The Manta Storm. No, this is not good times. Why? What's Serena Beach? This is the Manta Storm. What's the Manta Storm? It's not I've good. I've played this game. It's what's not good, Carl. This is another one of those levels. Oh, I've noticed there was a lot of paint on this level. We've not actually seen a lot of paint the last couple of play sessions. No, we haven't. I always I always thought that was like the primary mechanic of this game, is cleaning up the well, island. Well, it's like the literal um, story of the game, the isn't it? Yeah. The last couple of game play sessions we've had, you've not actually done much cleaning with the flood. No. Um, but I think we oh, just man. go talk to like this mayor man. 
Like, don't swim in that, you'll turn into the Joker. Or oh, Harley Quinn. <laughs> Neither one's a good option. You look very capable to me. Well, Mario might be, I'm, I'm not. I'm the biggest hero in the world. I save everyone. So this giant manta-shaped thing showed up. It was paper thin, floating silhouette. And it covered the entire hotel grounds in... Oh, God. Like, something about that makes me inordinately uncomfortable. Yeah. And the idea like... of something really massive but super thin. There we go. Oh, God, that's awesome. That is such a strong visual. <laughs> This music's not bad, though. No. This is a bop. Right, Carl. So the so tech... It's just like... Use your tech. Back jump on it. Oh, it causes oh. a divide. I'm hoping this tech just really helps out, but... Oh, God! You just need to destroy as much of the world as you can. Well, this is the uh... issue, Carl. They divide and conquer. Oh, to... And the electric goop gets you... Oh, now I can see why it's one of those levels. Yeah. Because the entire level is covered in this shit. That then it's a very strong... you, and it's like, oh, God. It is a very strong visual, though. Oh, yeah, it's super strong. Please don't tell me we have to kill them all, though. Yep. Oh. Okay, that's annoying. <laughs> because they're so small, that they and they can go seemingly randomly anywhere. Yeah. What happens when they're, like, in the corner? So, like, the shotgun tech is what I'm going to need. I'm I'm really upset that I didn't know about this shotgun tech when I was a kid. Because that would have really helped. Yeah. Just like, ah! It's annoying that they Just, get killed by water, but can float into the water. Of course they can. Oh my god, no. I've aggroed so them. So this makes it a bit easier. Lucas, you want to aggro them. It makes them easier to kill. Right, let's try this as well. Yeah! Ah! Who wants some of this? <laughs> That's a really strong idea yeah. for a boss. I like that. Ah! Oh god, no. Mario 12 for victory! Ugh. Right, Where's it's the water, mate. There's, uh... There's coins over here, though. Oh, Mario! Stay safe. There we go, Get there we coins. go. Heal up, heal up, heal up, Carl. You know what? Fucking take all the coins. I don't need them now. Look at this shit over here. That looks amazing. That's really cool looking, though. It is really cool looking. But, like, yeah, when you know what you're doing, it's like, I can just do shit like that. But as a kid, man. Yeah, that would be terrifying as a kid. It's like, what am I actually supposed like, to do? As long, anyway? like, if you don't get, get control of this level... It becomes just impossible. Because you can't move anywhere. Yeah. They get... Com Look at that. They get complete coverage everywhere. So I actually made that look quite easy, but... Yeah, if you let that get out of hand, it's just impossible. Is it one of those levels? Mm-hmm. I think this might have been the level as well when I was younger to, like, stop me playing the game. Oh, you just like, fuck this. Yeah, I think I just like game over a couple of times and was like, nah, not dealing with this shit. That's a shit as well, because that's a bop of a song that plays when you're doing it. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. But no, I, I think that's a really cool idea for a level, but um, also, like, if you don't have those, like, the shotgun move and the, the twirl spray, like, I think it just um, kind of dominates you a little bit. It does look very tough. 